But again, this is a football show. Let us move on. We are done with the music <laughs> portion of our show for now anyways. As we know, the Super Bowl this year is Rams versus Bengals. And so I thought we could just take a few moments here as a, as a round table to just kind of maybe reflect back on how these two teams got here. I mean, because let's be honest, how many of you had Rams versus Bengals at the beginning of this season? I'll wait for the show of hands. <laughs> well, yeah, I exactly. Know, I know one, one. at least yes, one person correct. had half of it, right? Right. Well, some, yeah, we all know that Cat Hughes said Matthew Stafford will take the Rams to the Super Bowl. And we have to give her credit for that always. Cat Hughes called it last year right after the trade. But it, but again, you know, in looking at this year's Super Bowl, I really think that this matchup becomes the the old versus the new, obviously. Matt Stafford's been in the league 10 years. He's probably towards the end. He gets this magnificent trade to a team that has tons of weapons, and he gets to prove that he's actually a decent quarterback. But in all seriousness, if you had to, if you look at how the Rams kind of performed this season, Delilah, were you? Is this what you expected from them? Did you expect that they would get to the promised land? I was hoping they would get to the promised land. I was reading from the from the get go. Like I, I really was hoping that they could, you know. And I started paying attention to all the analytics, and I was like, <laughs> oh, they were all wrong. But uh, and so, but from the beginning, I was like, oh, I really think that the Rams have a chance that they can make it all the way, like that, because they had a stacked team, and then they started getting more pieces, right? Like in the middle of the season, they got Von Miller, yeah. you know. So I knew that they were they weren't playing around. They brought in OBJ, right? You know, and so like, basically, like they just were building the team to kind of go all the way, right? All or nothing, right? Brought over Stafford, you know what I mean? And so I really was rooting for them to go really far. It just got it just got a little nerve wracking there at the end, you know, with some of those win losses that they had going and then dropping up and down in the in the seeds. But look, the seeds were blown up, so it didn't matter anyway. <laughs> no, no, I hear you there. But you know, I was rooting for them, and then they were, you know, in the beginning of the season, they were rated pretty high, and then we saw the games, and then it just started changing. Right? They didn't have high. You know, people weren't giving them high percentages to go, and I was just like, all right, I guess. I guess not, but, you know, but the whole time I was like, I really wanted them to, like, you know, beat everybody, you know? And so I'm glad that they made it this far, honestly. Like, they're just, they, they, they've been playing some good football, especially in the playoffs, because we always say that, right? Like, regular season goes out the window once you step into the postseason, right? Kind of get a sure. clean slate and you kind of start over. And I think that they've been playing really good ball. Like, I'm not hating on Jamar Chase or the Joey B connection, but everybody keeps forgetting about Cooper Cup and Matthew Stafford, and I don't understand yeah. that because that man was literally the greatest wide receiver this season and has broken yeah, all sorts sure. of records and was on the way to break even more records and just, you know, didn't get to. But, I mean, he won the triple crown of wide receivers this season, right? Yes, so, again, like, he's going to eat. Like, I know. Like, I know they're going to be defending him, but he's going to break away. We know he could block, right? It's just it's going to be very hard to really contain him in a Super Bowl type of area. And so, again, I'm not hating on the joy being Jamar Chase, but it's like y'all forgetting, you know, Stafford and Cup. Like, that man literally had, like, 100 yards almost every game. just recently. And his own, like, you know, Stafford would do, like, a short pass, and all of a sudden he's running, like, you right, 90 miles on the – you know what I'm saying? Like, 90 yeah. yards on the field. Like, just a phenomenal wide receiver. And, again, he can block. You know, and so like yep. it's just absolutely. You know, and so that you know, I think that he's man, he's gonna eat this game. It's gonna be really exciting. But all right, uh, so Mr. Yeah, Handy, so we'll we got Delilah's take on the Rams. Let's get your take on the Bengals. How did them getting here this far? You know, remember they even lost to the Bears this year. Which, if you look at records, last year the Bears beat the Buccaneers and they won the Super Bowl. So with the Bears beating the Bengals this year, does that mean the Bengals are gonna win the Super Bowl? What say it to you? I don't, I don't know anything about that, but apparently the Simpsons <laughs> predicted that the Rams were going to beat the, I'm see the Bengals were going to beat the Rams. Right. Uh, so we'll see if that prediction comes true. Like, <laughs> um, but as far as the Bengals making it to the Super Bowl, that is the last team out of the AFC that at the beginning of the season, at the beginning of the season, if you told me the AFC was going to Super Bowl, I'd, I'd have laughed you right out of it. Seriously. Uh, after the season they had last year, I thought they had tons of rebuilding to do. Yeah. Uh, my eyes were literally on uh, the Titans, yeah. the Chiefs, yeah. the Ravens, 
uh, the Titans, the Chiefs, and the Ravens. That was the only three teams that I was looking at at the beginning of the season. I said, one of these three teams is going. I wasn't looking anywhere else. Um, wasn't too far off the mark. I mean, the, no, they the, beat the Titans and the Chiefs to get into the Super Bowl. So there you right. go. Right. Well, my point is the Titans, <laughs> the Titans and the Chiefs did at least make it to the playoffs. Sorry, Nick. Yes. The Titans and the Chiefs did at least make it to the playoffs. So I was two thirds yeah. right. But the Bengals didn't have them at all. And then as far as the NFC, as much as it pains me to say it, and it's going to make Kate's heart explode with joy. I thought the Tampa Bay was gonna. I thought Tampa Bay was gonna run all the way back. Go to back. This. Yeah. yeah, I thought they were gonna run it back. Um, I got. I didn't even see Dallas doing what they did this year, but I definitely thought Tampa Bay was gonna run it back. I couldn't think of any team, even as good as LA has been. You know, uh, LA has been in recent years. I didn't even have LA anywhere. These two teams, neither one had them in the. I didn't have either one of them. Uh, Going to the Super Bowl. Yeah, it was really bizarre because, like, you know, when we did our preseason shows and we started talking about all this stuff, like you said, we had mentioned that the Rams had a shot if they could, you know, mistake-free football, yada, yada. Stafford shows he can command a team that has talent on it, yada, yada, yada. So I think, and again, I've I've been sticking with the Rams probably for about the last eight or nine weeks. Uh, I said I thought the Rams were poised to make this run and could make this run. So I'm kind of actually happy that they did make it you know, because everybody else was, you know, it's Green Bay or it's Tommy, you know, TB12 again. And so I, to, to see the Rams actually come out of the NFC really did warm my heart for that reason. You know, again, I'm hoping, I think I'm kind of torn in this Super Bowl because, again, my love for the combination that is Joe Burrow and Jamar Chase has grown every week. And it's really, you know, again, it's it's hard to uh, to not see great things from these guys in the future, which I'm hoping – that this is not their only shot because I'm hope, kind of hoping Stafford wins, gets his ring at least, and then for whatever else he does for the rest of his career, he can at least say, you know, he can validate that, hey, man, I, I was a good quarterback, and when I got a chance with the with the weapons I had, I showed you guys that. So I am kind of rooting for uh, L.A., but in the back of my mind, if Cincinnati won, I would not be disappointed at all. But I do feel like this is a team that for years to come can be really good once they shore up a little bit more of that offensive line, I think a couple pieces on defense to make that defense really solid. And you've got a team for years, my friend, with the weapons of T. Higgins and Mixon and, and Jamar Chase and, and and Joe Burrow. Like if they can, you know, the proverbial stay healthy, you've got a team that could uh, really take over in the AFC. But uh, I'm really looking forward to Sunday. I know you guys are too. Uh, again, Rams versus Bengals. Super Bowl 50, where, I'm sorry, where are we at now, 53? Or is it this Super Bowl is, number? This is 50, I think it's 56. Six? I I apologize, I have old man brain. <laughs> I had it written <laughs> down, and then, of course, my notes got scattered, and I my brain is scattered. So I apologize, but anyways, this week. <laughs> 